the Boxing Day tickets here. Handicap is next. This is a 0 to 70 over one, one and three furlongs. Let's take a look at the field we've got for this one then. And at the top we've got Claritin for Obi Wan, Velveteen Dream, Matt Cooper, Witch of War, Leon Van Rensburg, Poetry Flames, Jamie Hopkins, Undercover Agent, Paul Parsons, Mulberry Tree, Martin Liam, Dancing Moon, Nick Driver, Noble Eagle, Paul Parsons, Lushana Dragons for Matt Cooper, Comrade Simo, Jamie Hopkins, Double Shot, Daniel French, and Lila for Obi Wan. So a field of 12 and a lot of duck eggs in that form. There's one sticks out there with a win last time, they're away and racing. And through the first furlong, and they're juggling for position. And Witch of War has gone on into the lead. I wonder if we've got the right colours on some of these horses. The moment, because we're sure that's not a little man, Redsburg horse in a 0 70. But it's Witch of War in the lead from Noble Eagle back in second. Then comes Velveteen Dream in third. Dancing Moon undercover agent is next. The one that's the widest on the track at the moment is Mulberry Tree looking towards the back. Clarity in the top weight is the back marker but it's Witch of War who's got the clear lead by three to four lengths from the Paul Parsons pair undercover agent and Noble Eagle then comes Velveteen Dream and Dancing Moon Comrade Simo is after that one and then double shot Lila is also towards the back with the Lucia Dragons and Clarity the only winner in the field is Poetry Flames if I remember rightly that one is in about fourth at the moment it's Witch of War in the lead from Undercover Agent and Noble Eagle second and third. Then on the inside, Velveteen Dream, Dancing Moon and Poetry Flames. The next in Comrade Simo, double shot. Mulberry Tree still quite wide. Do it tucking in a little bit, but it's got a wall of horses between here and the fence. The back three of the Lucha Dragons. And then finally the Obi-Wan pair, Lila and Claritin. So I'm not sure where Obi-Wan's front runners have disappeared to this season. But it's Witch of War. Mulberry Tree is now pulled through in a second with the jockey making not a great deal of effort to get across to the inside of them. He is doing now. Poetry Flames has moved through into third. Then comes Dancing Moon. Comrade Simo is there as well. Also Velveteen Dream trying to get up the inside. The one that's going on running outside. Double shot. But this Witch of War is still clear in the lead with two and a half to go. Witch of War then is still clear of double shot on the outside is moving to second. Mulberry Tree is just third. Then Poetry Flames and Velveteen Dream. After that Dancing Moon and Comrade Simo difficult to see anything else getting into it but it's Witch of War has been clear all the way with a furlong and a half to go. Witch of War clear from double shot in second. Mulberry Tree is third. Poetry Flames is in four. This Witch of War doesn't like it stopping but now on centre of the track double shot's got into overdrive. Witch of War will need the line to come. Coming through quickly is, is double shot. Last week's winner Poetry Flames also looking for him. Velveteen Dream but it's going to be Witch of War that takes it. From Velveteen Dream, Poetry Flames, Dancing Moon, the Lucha Dragons finished well. And it's a witch of war and once again on the dirt we see the horse getting the lead and stay there it's got to be the way to go on this track and witch of war is the winner easily on van rensburg so very rare to see him down in a 0 to 70. 18 to 1 leon van rensburg in a 0 to 70 handicap if only this was real velveteen dream second for matt cooper poetry flames for jamie hopkins was third double shot Daniel French fourth and Dancing Moon for Nick Driver was fifth.